Rachel, as you probably predict, rice and broccoli are pretty common in my household. And yes, I, I'm not very good. I'm a bit slapdash with the kind of measuring thing, so I often do make a little too much. So this is a great way to use a bit of extra sourdough as well as rice and nice. maybe a bit of broccoli as well. Now, I'm going to get you cracking. I have some of my beloved cheddar cheese. I want you to just grate a cup of that stuff. Okay. Now, we can't have fritters without a very hot pan. We need a nice kind of medium hot pan there. Bit of extra virgin olive oil as well. I like that. Because, of course, we need to fry these up in that good stuff. Get some omega-3 happening there. Now, you don't want to blast things with heat too much because it does lose a bit of the nutritional profile. So slow and low is what I'm trying to teach people at the moment. Slow and low in that way. How's that? Oh, great stuff. Love it. Now, I just need to put two eggs because that's your binder of things, really, just in there. I just need you to chop up a bit of the broccoli. Now, you can fritter pretty much anything. Yes. Really, can't you? Yep. So it's just kind of, as long as you've got your binder of your egg, you've got a bit of cheese is always nice because it brings a kind of sharpness to it. You can use flour as well, but this is a great flourless way of doing it. So I'm going to crack two eggs into this one as well. Oh, a bit of shell. Use the old uh, grandma trick. Out yeah. we go. Fritters you can make with anything. I use chicken, pork, you know, prawn fritters, you know, broccoli fritters are new to me, but That's I'm going to give them a go. There's a lot of things I've showed that oh. are new to you, aren't they? But yeah. you've been very... You always embrace it, I tell you. So yep. just a little um, broken up egg there. Of course, we have our rice, brown rice, black rice. It really doesn't matter. The great thing about white is it will absorb absolutely everything. Now, I've left it sort of chunky. Is that what you want? Yeah, great. Perfect, all right. It really, there's no rules here. No so, rules. So, a nice cold rice. Make sure that you keep that rice in the fridge as well. We want to make sure we look after that. In that goes. Great stuff. We'll just mix this up. Now, while I'm mixing up, can you just add a bit of the sourdough crumbs? Now, this is just going to bulk it out a little bit as well. Give it a bit of a crispness. Um, the olive oil will just absolutely love that. Put the last little bit in? Yes, please. Okay, so, we'll mix that up. So, if it is a little bit dry, you've got a lot of ingredients in there, just add another egg or a couple just another egg in, in there. there. Yes, please. I can do that for you. Now, of course, we need to season it. I'm going to add a nice, generous amount of Murray River salt flakes. What's wrong with those two today? We've both done that. The eggs are, uh, uh, the shells are going everywhere. We're hungry, they? I think, aren't we? Oh, double pepper as well. Or maybe we're just we're just smashing it down. We're too brutal. We need to we need to calm down and be nice and gentle. What do you we think? do, don't we? We really do. So that pan is red hot now. So make sure that's all nice and mixed up. So what size are we going to make, Rosie? Oh, hands in. We're going to make just the little ones because okay. I think um, as well, kids like bite size. So nice. let's smuggle some veggies into them. It's like making uh, broccoli sushi almost, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. So one of them nice and compact, and then we'll just flatten them down with our spatula just on there. So a nice hot pan. Now I'm going to get you to keep working on those while I fry an egg and a tomato just over here to make sure that we have enough for a nice big breakfast and a little replacement for toast. come together beautifully. So safety first. I like Let's that. Let's make sure that we take that off. I can see that these cold in the fridge. Absolutely brilliant. We'll make that rice go even further again. Put it in a little kitty's lunchbox or a, a big kitty, I think, as well there. They're, they're kind of like broccoli hash browns, aren't they? Aren't they just? There we go. Like that. There too. Pop that baby that on there. Tomos. Nice. That's a great looking breakfast, Rosie. It looks fantastic. Isn't it? And well, you wouldn't even really know that you were eating broccoli mm. for the vegetable challenge. It's a brilliant, it's a brilliant one, isn't it? And if you wanted to make it gluten-free, you could use rice flour or you could just use gluten-free bread, toasted and whizzed up as well. Oh. Rosie, that is really delicious. And it's got a nice crunch to it. The um the starch in the in the, in the rice gives it really, really crunchy flavour. The broccoli is fantastic, nice and cheesy as well. Yeah. And you fried it. I couldn't imagine anything better than this. <laughs> I think you've got to make this one for your boys. I will.